Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to part 7 of the miscellaneous section of showing all my vinyl albums and today is going to be the F's and the G's so it's actually going to be quite long so we'll get started first up and this was a blind buy and it's the fabulous Thunderbirds T-Bird Rhythm and I bought this because it was produced by Nick Lowe and I looked at the cover and I thought this is going to be rockabilly but it's not it's blues rock and I don't like it end of next up and Fairground Attraction the first of a million kisses with the two big hit singles Perfect the number one hit in the UK and uh, Find My Love which I actually prefer and then their other album which is iPhone Kiss now this is really a compilation of various uh, b-sides and so forth and it's actually quite good they do a very good version of uh, Patsy Cline's Walking After Midnight The Fine Young Cannibals and it's their debut album and this is the one with uh, Johnny Come Home and Blue on it it's a very very good album as is The Raw and The Cook which I've shown a million times and this is God She Drives Me Crazy good thing and not the man I used to be don't look back and uh, ever fall in love excellent album one of the best of 1989 Fine Young Cannibals The Raw and The Remix which is just a remix album it's okay it's not as good as the original album Fingerprints Distinguishing Marks a really good album and this got in to my top 30 of 1980 and has the brilliant Bulletproof Heart on it Fingerprints again and Beat Noir and I think this is from 1981 not quite as good but still a decent album Flash in the Pan Panorama and this is a bit of a compilation and this has got that Walking in the Rain on it uh, the song that Grace Jones did and of course it's got Waiting for the Train which is a big hit single in 1983 they were originally the Easy Beats I think in the 60s Fleetwood Mac, then play on, decent album, uh, a little bluesy for me but there's more pop songs on this which makes it even better. Fleetwood Mac, the best of Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac, uh, yeah this is really all I need of those first two bluesy albums. There's some really great songs on here like Albatross, uh, Man of the World, Rattlesnake Shake, um, Need Your Love Tonight and uh, stop messing around so it is a very good album but I'm not a blues fan and the Peter Green era is my least favourite of Fleetwood Mac Fleetwood Mac greatest hits arguably all I need of the Peter Green era uh, Killing the House by Fleetwood Mac and this is a weird album because it's all over the place and uh, there's even rockabilly rock and roll in this it's, I actually do like it uh, Fleetwood Mac and Future Games and um, yeah decent album Danny Kerwin comes to the fore here um, but it's, it's more your San Francisco type sound Fleetwood Mac Bear Trees another good one with um, Bob Welch coming to the fore especially with Sentimental Lady which is an absolutely brilliant track good album and then the next three Fleetwood Mac albums are represented by this here which is a box set of uh, Penguin, Mystery to Me, Heroes Are Hard to Find and then a live album and it is very good. Fleetwood Mac, I have a lot of Fleetwood Mac and we have the uh, 1975 one, the first one with Lindsay Buckingham on it and surprise surprise we have Rumours which is a fantastic album. Tusk which is very good, very underrated, very experimental just with the Lindsay songs not with the Stevie or the Christine songs then Fleetwood Mac Live which is decent but um, the reason I really like this is because it's got the Farmer's Daughter on it the Beach Boys song as well as Fireflies uh, a Stevie song which I think is excellent uh, Fleetwood Mac Mirage with Old Diane and Hold Me Gypsy on it, good album. My least favourite of the Lindsay Buckingham era is Tango in the Night, although it does have Seven Wonders everywhere and When I See You Again, which is a nice duet with Lindsay and Stevie. Fleetwood Mac Behind the Mask, which is absolute rubbish. 
Although it does have one song I really like, Affairs of the Heart, the Stevie song. And then Say You Will, which is almost like a Buckingham Nicks album, with the um, two uh, guys, John McVie and Mick Fleetwood. And this is a very, very good album, actually. It is missing Christine, though. But it does get called Fleetwood Mac, which I'll come to in a minute. It's Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, the album from 1973, which is very, very good. Very similar to the Fleetwood Mac 75 album. Lindsay Buckingham's Law and Order is debut solo album from 1981 with the American hit Trouble on it. Um, Lindsay Buckingham Go and Seeing from 1984, excellent album. Very dated and sound, but I really, really like that album. Here we go, Lindsay Buckingham and Christy McVie. This could have been called Fleetwood Mac because it has Mick Fleetwood and John McVie on it as well. So the only difference is this one is missing Stevie Nicks. However, Say You Will was only missing Christy McVie. So I think Stevie Nicks must have uh, stopped it from being called Fleetwood Mac. And this is great. Sleeping Around the Corner is an absolutely fantastic track. Lindsay Buckingham's last album, self-titled, absolutely brilliant. I think this is 2021 or so. And then we have a Lindsay Buckingham solo anthology box set, which is great and it has uh, six uh, albums in here. You can get this on double CD, it's absolutely fantastic. A lot of his solo albums have not been released on, well a few of them on vinyl, and if they have they're really really hard to get now. So this does the job in the meantime. Mick Fleetwood, The Visitor, um, I picked this up for more or less 20p or something. But there's a nice version of Walk a Thin Line on it, which originally came from Tusk. A Flock of Seagulls, and this is just called A Flock of Seagulls, and it's the one with Iran and Space Age Love Song on it. Flumps in the Machine, Lungs. Bought this for a tenner, it was um, on uh, offer in the local record shop. It's alright, I've only played about two or three times. The Flying Lizards and their debut album with TV and money on it. It's a very, very strong album. Flying Lizards again and Fourth Wall. Not quite as good, but still very enjoyable. And the Flying Lizards again with Top Ten. And this is the one with Dizzy Miss Lizzy on it. And each of those Flying Lizards albums had different female singers. Steve Forbert and Rock Extra bought this very cheap and this is actually not a bad album now <laughs> we come into guilty pleasures the Irish stuff Foster and Allen I, I do like this it's uh, selections it's got old flames on it I remember when I was working in a record shop I had to play that song because it sold uh, bucket loads and I was ordered by the manager to play that every two or three songs uh, Foster and Allen, the very best of, which is good. It's nice, I, I do like it. And Foster and Allen, a bunch of time, which I think was their debut album. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, so it's come under the Four Seasons. 20 Greatest Hits, brilliant album, although it's been better over two LPs. Like this one, The Four Seasons Story, which is excellent as well, it's got all the big hits on it. In the Four Seasons um, featuring their hit singles Who Loves You and December 63 the album is called Who Loves You and I showed this in a previous video with different covers and here is the other cover the one that was reissued in the 1980s. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons Street Fighter from I think this is from the late 80s and there's a really good version of the Book of Love on this and this was a 99p find. The Four Tops and um, Greatest Hits with uh, Reach Out I'll Be There, I Can't Help Myself. Fox and their debut album with Only You Can and Imagine You, Imagine Me and there's another one I absolutely love off this, He's Got Magic, it's absolutely brilliant. Fox again, Tales of Illusion, and Strange Ships is the big one off this. Uh, yeah, decent album. But the best, I think, is Blue Hotel, and this is the one with Sissa's single bed. 
excellent album. Bruce Foxton, Touch Sensitive, his debut album from 1984. It's okay, it's not brilliant. A lot of songs are written by Pete Glanister, who wrote with Kirsty McCall in the late 80s. Now, I bought this one, I remember getting it, and I think it was 50p, and I don't know why I got it, I never played it. And it's Peter Frampton, I'm With You, isn't that a shocking cover? I think I bought it because he was in Bowie's band at the time in the late 80s, but, you know, don't know why I bought it. Frankie Goes to Hollywood and Welcome to the Pleasure Dome with Relax, Two Tribes and all the various other ones. The Fun Boy 3 and FB3 and this is their debut album with the Lunatics have taken over the Asylum and there's another one off here as well. Is it the telephone always rings? And yeah, uh, it ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. And that's what gets results. Fun Boy 3 again with Waiting and this is the one with uh, The More I See You, The, more, the Less I Believe, The Tunnel of Love and Our Lips Are Sealed. And the Bum Boy 3 again, which is really just a singles collection. A record Store Day issue. The Furies and Davy Arthur, When You Were Sweet 16. And this is a lovely, lovely album. Again, The Furies and Davy Arthur, Steal Away, another nice album. I really do like Finbar Fury's voice. Um, Golden Days of The Furies and Davy Arthur which is a very nice compilation. Marvin Gaye, we're on the G's now, not many of them. What's going on? An album I have so struggled with and tried so many times, I've sort of given up on it. But it does have Mercy Mercy Me on it, which Robert Palmer had a hit single with. Marvin Gaye, Greatest Hits, much better for me. It's got some Let's Get It On, I Love It, Let Her Through the Grapevine, Sexual Healing, very good album. Not far away, the best of Generation X, uh, Billy Idol, Valley of the Dolls, uh, Dancing with Myself, uh, Ready Steady Go, Youth Youth Youth, pretty good album. Georgia Satellites, and um, this is the one with uh, Battleship Chains on it, which that's the only reason I bought it, because I love that track. Steve Gibbons band Down the Bunker. This is a decent album. It was VCLT from James Griffiths, but yeah, good to have. Uh, Ian Gom, Summer Holiday. He was part of Brincey Schwartz. This is actually not a bad album. It's got Hooked on Love, which was a Brincey Schwartz song, and uh, Hold On, which was a big hit in America. We're near the end here. Eddie Grant, Walking on Sunshine, I think this is a reissue version of it with uh, Walking on Sunshine is a big hit off this and I don't think there was any other ones. Living on the front line of course. Eddie Grant, Can't Get Enough and this is going to do Feel My Love, my all time favourite Eddie Grant song and I think that was the only big hit off it and the big one for him is um, Killer on the Rampage with um, I Don't Wanna Dance and Electric Avenue and More Party on it. It's not a brilliant album though apart from those singles. And this is Eddie Grant going for broke. I went through a bit of an Eddie Grant uh, phase romancing the stones on this. You know it's decent, he's a decent enough songwriter with a sort of pop reggae feel to it. And File Under Rock Eddie Grant, and I don't know what the big hits off this were, if there was any, I don't think they were actually, oh, hit, give me hope Joanna's on this, which was a sizable enough hit for him. Two more, and Eddie Grant, all the hits, which is very, very good, so all the big hits, like Living in the Frontline, Romance in the Stone, Walking in the Sunshine, I Don't Want to Dance, Baby Come Back, which is a reissue, or re-recording of the Eagles hit, War Party, Electric Avenue, Do You Feel My Love? Very, very good album. And lastly, Gregory Gray, which I've shown a few times. Local guy, and this is his debut a solo album. He was in a band called Perfect Crime, and this is a really, really strong album. So, Gregory Gray. So that's the F's and the G's, and that actually took much 
uh, less time than I thought it was, so I must be talking less. Okay, ask me for now, and H to whatever will come next. All the best now. Bye-bye.